You got to. Okay, so I know. Start in a child's pose. Yeah, feet together, knees together, knees wide, whatever feels good. Arms forward, arms back. And sometimes it's nice to take child's pose like this with the, with your uh, hands behind you and you reach for the, the base of your feet and then let your forehead fall to the ground. I like that because it just you kind of make a connection with yourself. If you don't like it, don't do it. That's the thing with yoga. I mean, there's a lot of things in yoga we don't like to do, but you have to force yourself to do it. But feel your way through the practice this morning. Your body will give you a sign if it's not right for you. Trust me. Chrissy, as we move, I'll give you little things for the neck that I think of. Uh-huh. Number one, make sure that you come back to child's pose. If you feel overwhelmed, you feel like breathless at any point, or you just need to take a break, okay? Spread the palms a little wider. If the arms are back, now is the time to slide them forward. Anchor through your hands. There's going to be a lift of your wrists and your forearms. Activate. Yep. Press up to a down dog with bent knees. So when you arrive in your down dog with bent knees, yeah, like literally bend your legs in half like this. Plug down through your hands, thumb, index finger, baby finger. And then start to slowly breathe your hips up and back and feel the center of your heels start to melt towards the ground. You may or may not get a lot of distance from the floor to the to your heel, or you may get your heels a little closer. And then you could start to pedal it out. Move the right leg, move the left leg. If you're feeling a lot of weight in your shoulders or your hands, breathe your hips way up off your shoulders this morning and keep your knees with a bend. Spread your palms wide. Everybody look forward for just a split second and make sure that your index fingers are forward or tight. A little bit turned out helps me a little bit. Just kind of get out of the shoulders. Good. Relax your head. Relax your jaw. And if you're having trouble arriving, know that you've come to the right place. Like sometimes you come to your mat and you're so frenetic. You're all over the place. It's hard to find a dristy. It's hard to capture your breath. That's the point of the practice. Start to slow down. Start to pick a dristy, a focal point that maybe you can just focus on for a breath or two. Don't be so hard on yourself. Feel your outer triceps grip in. Draw the pit of the belly up. And then see if you can find just a breath or two of complete and other stillness in your body. Just in your body. Your mind will never be fully still. Good. Roll forward to a plank. So from dog to plank, you have to find that sweet spot. And sometimes you need to walk it out. Lauren, do you need a hair elastic? Okay. They're like laying all over the place with Jake's schedule, with his school <laughs> schedule, little pieces of school schedule. And I have hair elastics all over the place. Yes. Lead with your heart and chest. Good. Take the round out of your upper spine. So for the neck here, it's the best to just look to the front skinny edge of the mat. That's a really good dristy point. If you need to modify this pose, you always just drop your knees. That's fine. If not, you're just holding a strong energy, holding a strong plank. Fix your eyes, breathe your belly in and up, contract your thighs and plug down evenly through your hands. Bring more weight forward on your tippy toes. Find neutral in your body. Hold. Stay with it. You're still in plank. Yeah, I didn't forget. And the Wi-Fi didn't freeze. You're still in plank. At least not yet. Good. Hips up and back down, dog. Yeah. Let's breathe our right leg up and back. Three-legged down, dog. 
Come forward to a plank. Hug your right knee in and up. Yeah, scoop out your belly. Guide the right leg up and back to a three-legged down dog. But when you do this, don't open your hip. Plug down even. Come forward to plank and hug your right knee in and up. Just squeeze in. Again, extend the right leg up and back. Create some movement. Hug the right knee in and up as you come forward to a plank. Step the right foot forward and through. Drop the back knee on an angle here. Keep the toes curled. If for some reason this doesn't feel good, slide something underneath your knee. You could use a block. I can go get some hand towels too if you need that. Back knee on an angle. Rise, supported lunge. We're not holding for long. If your knee is going straight down towards the ground, it's going to dig into the pavement. It's got to be more on an angle. Mm -hmm. If this does not feel good for lower back, pull out of it. Yes and do less. Hands to frame your front foot. Integrate your back left leg, pause. Use a block to the instep of the foot. If you don't have one, I'll throw you one. Place the block down on the instep. You can knuckle the hand too. This is great for, the, for getting out of that upper neck. Peel open into an easy twist. Mm -hmm. Go the other direction. Yep, left hand down, left hand down, right arm up. Yeah, that was a whole new pose that you were doing. Yeah, I was like, I don't know. Don't follow Jody. <laughs> yes, we love her, but don't follow her. Yes, breathe your heart and your chest open. Good, right hand comes down. Step to a down dog. Just step back, down dog. Breathe your left leg up and back, three-legged down dog. Just lift it into space. Don't open the hip. Come forward to a plank and hug your left knee in and up. I want you to feel the action of the arms and the palms pressing down and a scooping up of your belly. Extend the left leg up and back without too much momentum, just flex. Come forward, hug the knee and scoop out the belly. Again, extend the left leg up and back, fan the toes, flex the foot. One more, hug the knee and scoop out the belly. Step the left foot forward and through. Big step. Drop the back knee on an angle. If this is unavailable, just don't drop it. And then sweep your arms up. Supported lunge. Yeah. Breathe your heart, your chest open, your back thighs on an angle. Steer your waist forward. Hands come down to frame your front foot. Back knee lifts. Use a block to the instep of the foot. Right hand down. Left arm peels. Grip the left hip in. See, we got it. Activate the muscles around the back, right quadricep, thigh, hamstring, and twist open. Look sideways, look up. Left hand comes down, down dog. Now let's roll forward together to a plank. Yes. Drop your knees if you need support. Listen to what your body needs. Lower halfway to a push-up, chaturanga. Lead with your heart and chest for up dog or baby cobra. Either way works. Bring your hands back, Mara, a little bit. Yep, that's where you want them to be. Hips up and back down dog. So that's the only weird part about going from a plank to a cobra is that you do need to move your hands because they, they're, they're further back than you think they need to be. Let's try it again. Roll forward plank. Halfway to a push-up that works. Up dog or cobra. So when you get down, there you go. That's it. Hips up and back down dog. And that's the type of thing like no one ever tells you. <laughs> they just expect you to know. Look to the top of the mat. Step, step your feet there this morning. Or I don't know. It's more like a crawl. Long spine to prepare yourself. Hands to your shins is also a great option. Exhale, fold into yourself. Root to rise, come all the way up. Standing position, stand up nice and tall. Drag your hands to prayer at heart, drop your arms. Now you could choose to practice with your feet a little separated or together, it's up to you. Arms slide straight up towards the sky, look up a little. Dive over bent knees, forward fold, let your weight carry you forward. Long spine to set you up. Just create some space, step, step to plank. Yeah, when you arrive in plank, halfway to your version of a push-up. So if you need to drop your knees, you drop your knees. 
upward facing pulls you through or baby cobra, pick something that works. Hips up and back, down dog. It's the same thing, Tracy, in the cobra. Slide your hands back, okay? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you when we do it again. Look to the top of the mat. Step, step your feet there this morning. Long spine, weight is forward. Exhale, fold. Good. Root to rise. Come all the way up. Feel. Drag your hands to prayer at heart. Drop your arms. You got to kind of get in your yoga groove. Arms slide straight up towards the sky. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Let your head fall. Good. Long spine sets you up. Step, step to plank. Okay. Lower halfway to your push up. Pull yourself through an up dog. If you're going to baby cobra, now drag your there a little bit further. Perfect. Come somewhere in the middle, right there. That's it. Hips up and back down dog. It's like um, kind of like your your lower floating rib, that lowest rib. That's where you want your hands to be. Arms stay straight. Look where you want to go. Step, float, top of mat. Get there light. Long spine. Weight is forward. Exhale, fold. Good. Root to rise. Come all the way up. Drag your hands to prayer at heart. Drop your arms. Again, arms slide straight up towards the sky. We keep going. Dive over bent knees, forward fold. Let your head fall. Long spine sets you up. Step or float through your vinyasa. Everyone's vinyasas are going to look a little different. Adding or subtracting push-ups, back bends, anything goes. Yeah. Arms stay nice and straight. Look where you want to go. Step or flow top of mat. Get there nice and light. Long spine. Weight is forward. Exhale, fold. Good. Root to rise. Come all the way up. Drag the hands to prayer. Drop your arms. Good. Arms slide straight up towards the sky. Dive over bent knees. Forward fold. Long spine to prepare. Step or float through your vinyasa. Plank to a push-up. Back bends or take them out. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Breathe your right leg up and back, three-legged down dog. Don't open the hip. Fan the right thigh down towards the ground. Good, so point your right toes in space right now. Come forward to plank and hug your right knee towards your navel. Squeeze it in really tight and pause here. Yeah. Do a little more, squeeze it in and up. Yeah, press the arm straight. Plus plug the thumb, the index finger, the baby finger, look forward with your eyes, stay with it. Step the right foot forward and through. Nice strong back leg if you can. Heavy in the right thigh, rise, crescent lunge. You're high on the ball of your back foot, okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna give you one little suggestion here. So if lower back is sensitive this morning, you can always take a little bend in your back knee. Yeah, you could take the whole pose always like this and it's good to know that. Okay, make a little adjustment so the poses feel good. We don't wanna create any more stress. We have enough stress. All right, we're gonna have some fun because if we can't do it here, I don't know what's gonna happen. So you're gonna come up into a tree pose and it's gonna probably be very ugly the first time we do this. So you're gonna press up, use your hands, slide your foot somewhere up your leg, get yourself situated, you gotta grip the hips in and then grow your branches. Then not so bad. Focus on the standing right foot and the right hip, grip it in. It's okay. Anytime you challenge your balance, you challenge your mind and your butt and your breath. The arms are going to continuously slide up towards the sky. Left leg's going to drift back, land warrior one. Back foot goes on a strong angle. You got it. Steer the left ribs forward. Good. You can always tip a little forward with your spine and that's going to take you out of your low back as well. Hands come down to frame your front foot. Plank. Halfway to a push-up. Up dog or cobra. Press even through hands, tops of feet. Hips up and back, down dog. Breathe your left leg up and back. Pause. Keep really even. Just go ahead and point your left toes in space. 
Then come forward, plank, and hug your left knee. Draw it in and up as high as you can. So think about like almost scooping out your belly. Press even through your arms. Press down, lift a little more. Deepen your core muscles. Keep looking forward. Step your left foot all the way forward. Take a big step. Get the arrangement of your feet. Integrate and then rise. If you need to add that little bend to the back right leg, go ahead and try that out. Reg, this may be good for you. Uh huh. Because it kind of takes the pressure out and gives you a little bit more in your legs. Good, breathe. Stay with it. So fix your eyes and just think about the shape of the tree and see if you can step up. Ugly, pretty, doesn't matter. You can any, any type of tree that you want. Drag the leg up and then grow your branches. And if you fall, you fall. You kind of have to hook in, yeah. Quiet your mind. Keep the arms moving up. Guide your right leg back, warrior one. Nice big step, you got it. And remind yourself you could pitch forward a little, take yourself out of that low back, but use the blade of your back foot on that angle to really steer that right wrist waist forward. Hands come down, vinyasa. Any way that you wanna take it. Up dog, good. Hips up and back down dog. So let's go with this guys. Right foot forward, crescent lunge. Yeah. So find the crescent lunge. Someone's ring, someone's summon, entering the house. Uh huh. Step up tree. Tree pose. I say throw your phones away. Yeah. Warrior one. Just make it go. Just go with it. Your body, trust that it knows where it's going. And if it doesn't, you make it up. Hands to the floor, vinyasa, or go right to a dog. Plank to a push-up. Up dog. Hips up and back, down dog. Land your left foot forward, crescent lunge, come on up. Let's be high on the ball of that back foot. It's gonna be a lot easier to get that front leg forward. You got it. Rise into the tree pose. You can use your hands. Hook in and then energetically reach up. Warrior one, step it back. Vinyasa. Up dog is smooth. Hips up and back, down dog. One more time each side. Right foot lands, crescent lunge. Take your time. There's no rush. Tree pose, step up. See, you guys got it. Yeah. Warrior one, guide it back. This is all proprioception, which is what we need because we don't know where our bodies are in space. Hands down, vinyasa. Up dog. Down dog. Left foot lands, crescent lunge, rise. Step up into tree, make it light, effortless. You got it, Jody. Nice work. We have to give our body a chance to explore. Warrior one, guide it back, do it slow. Nice work. Vinyasa. Or just go to a down dog. If the push ups aren't working for you, the up dog's not working, hips up and back down dog. Look to the top of the mat, step or float your feet there. Long spine weight is forward, fold into yourself. Sit heavy in your heels for chair. You could take chair with your feet separated a little bit if that feels better. 
or together? Shoot up to stand up, drag it to prayer, drop your arms. The pose that creates the most resistance, always. Arms straight, straight up towards the sky. Sit heavy in your heels for chair. Look forward, though. Dive over, bent knees forward, fold. Let your head go. Long spine sets it up. Step or float through your version of the vinyasa. Up dog is smooth. Press firm through your hands, the tops of your feet. Hips up and back down dog. Right foot lands, back foot turns. Rise on your breath, warrior one. So come up with control and just feel. And then bring it back down to the floor through a vinyasa. Up dog is smooth. Hips up and back down dog. The left foot lands, the back foot turns, rise. Take your time. Hands back down through the floor, to the floor, through a vinyasa of choice. You can just do a, a push up and then press back up and then go to dog. Tracy, that's how I do it too. It works. Look where you want to go, step or float, top of mat, get their light. Long spine weight is forward. You're doing great. Exhale, fold. Heavy in your heels for chair. Stick your butt way back. Yeah, Allie, stick your butt back. There you go. Weights in your heels. Shoot up to stand up. Drag your hands to prayer. Drop your arms. Arms that go straight up towards the sky. Heavy in your heels. Sit into chair. Dive over, bent knees, forward fold. Always let your head just go. Long spine sets you up. Step, float, skip, crawl through a vinyasa. The up dog is smooth. Any variation of this works. Hips up and back, down dog. Right foot lands, back foot turns, rise, warrior one. You're making it your own and everyone moves slightly different. Hands back down to the floor, plank. Chaturanga. Upward facing. Hips up and back, down dog. Left foot lands, back foot turns, rise. Warrior one on the left side, your breath. Chaturanga. Upward facing pulls you through. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Full breath out. Look where you want to go. Step or float, top of mat, get there light. Long spine weight is forward. Fold into yourself. Yeah, we're warming up. Heavy in the heels for chair. Let's slide the hands to prayer here. Inhale the breath. Hook the elbow and twist to the right. Guys, keep in mind, if anything funky is going on in your lower back, I prefer you to stay upright. Yeah, and take an air twist. Yep, you don't need to hook. You can also land your elbow on the, the meaty part of your thigh. Jen, slide the left hip back. So from your from your hip. So what we want to avoid is the hip rotating forward. So even in your hips and then twist. Good work. Open up your arms if you want more. But if that's not in the cards, just stay here. Keep the breath flowing. Nice, Lauren. Good, Laura. Stay with it, guys. The sensation is temporary. Trust me. Pull around to chair, heavy in your legs and chair. Like sit, sit a little deeper in chair. Stick your butt way back. Drag the hands to prayer and let's go the opposite direction. And you could just take an air twist like I'm demonstrating here and really just work on the alignment of your body. My core is engaged. My side body is long. My feet, my knees, and my shins are all lined up even. My weight stays back in the heels and then you go for it that way. Any variation works. Keep the breath flowing. Look sideways or look up. We try to avoid looking back because that has the tendency of rounding us. Chair pose. Pull around. So here we are in chair. 
You're going to lower as much as you can. Butt's going to hit the ground. Hands are going to come flat. Now, if you have two blocks, slide them out and slide your hands up onto the blocks. Bend your legs, flex your feet. So it's like a little bridge. If you don't have blocks, the recommendation is to claw the mat. You can even claw the mat with the blocks. Okay. What I want you to do is really lift up through your deep core muscles. So reach your arms, Jode, more forward. Yes. Good. So what we want to do is get out of our lower back. So I would bend your legs in there even more. There you go. And really soften the shoulders down the back. You feel that? You're like, oh, this is great. Breathe. Good. Keeping your hands down, you're going to lower to an Ardha Navasana. That's a low boat. Low boat can be done with your legs straight up at a 90 degree angle. Keep your hands on blocks. It could look like this. More looking for more difficulty. Obviously, closer to the floor is a good spot, but keep your hands on those blocks or floor. Use the blocks on the ground or claw the mat. Navasana. It's good. Arda Navasana. When you go to an Arda, relax the neck, look towards the sky. Navasana, pull it up. Arda Navasana. Navasana, pull it up. Cross the ankles. You could use the blocks to just move them in front. Step through a vinyasa. Yep. Chaturanga. Up dog or cobra should feel good. Hips up and back, downward facing dog. Step the right foot forward, crescent lunge. You should be warm. So you know how we were stepping crescent lunge to tree? We're not going to step that way now. We're going to step up to ankle to knee, okay? If your hands need to come to prayer or your hands to your hips to do this, give that a whirl. If your arms can stay up, that's great. But you're going to cross your left ankle over the top of the right thigh and then start to sit. When you sit, lean out first and then steer your hips back. As you come down, you're going to utilize those blocks on the floor. Flex the foot around the outside of that right tricep. Yep. Perfect. You're good. Flex the foot around the tricep if you can. Around, yes. And that's going to get that outer hip. Perfect. You can have both hands down on that block. This pose isn't to make you angry. It's really, I mean, it's like, it's the stretch of the century. So you want to make sure your foot is flexed really strong. Stay with it, guys. Can you start to end it out of it for you? Forward, stay with it. Come up, warrior one. Hands to frame your front foot, chaturanga. Upward facing, hips up and back, downward facing. Left foot lands, crescent lunge. Come on up. It's back. I don't know, I told you, it's like I'm dealing with like ancient times here. So Joe, get on the ball of your back foot. There you go. 
So see if you if you can keep your arms up. You may need to slide your hands to prayer. Guide your right leg up, ankle to knee, and sit real heavy. So sometimes the right foot will need like a little assistance, like a little self-adjustment, which is fine. You can kind of flex your foot and then steer the hips back and lean out as far as you can. Good. And then rest your hands onto a block. Here. The sneaker is not going to cut it. Yeah. Been there, done that. When you're in ankle to knee like this, it's important that you don't dump down. So see if you can keep your chest really open. Yeah. Flex the foot, keep steering the hips back and breathe. We're staying a little longer. Heavy in that heel. Nice work. So not, unfortunately, nothing happens if you hold for a breath or two. Right, we need like, we need time. Okay, so to get out of the pose, come out really slow, bring your hands to your hips. See if you can get it so the foot doesn't touch. Arms go straight up and then guide your let, right leg back, warrior one. Take a nice big step in warrior one. Make sure your right toes are pivoted enough forward. Yeah, drop your arms by your side body, clasp your hands. If you could remember which grip you did, take the opposite. Inhale the breath, lift the chest. Exhale, come forward. It's a long hold, humble warrior. You're gonna fold. Steer the right ribs forward. You could just rest your stomach on your thigh, let your head drop. You got it. Perfect. Keep bending heavy into that leg. Jen, walk your right back foot over to the right. Yeah. Perfect. Let the head go. You kind of have to surrender into the pose. Really wrap that left hip under and hold. Keep steering the right ribs forward. Stay with it. Press strong through your legs and rise. When you come up, bring your arms up and feel the fresh blood run to your fingertips, warrior one. Then bring your hands down to frame your front foot. Step to a plank and find plank and hold. Right hand's gonna come out an inch in front. You're gonna rotate and roll to the outer blade of your right foot. I like to stagger the feet in Vashi Stas in the side plank. You're also welcome to drop your right knee down and modify. You can modify with the right knee down. Yep. So from your bottom hip through your top hip, there's a strong lift. Now the left arm can wrap up and forward or it could just go straight up towards the sky. Either way works. We're holding a drop longer, breathe. Good, plank position, pause, forearm plank. Yeah, you're gonna karate chop the mat with your hands, interlace your hands, keep your neck very neutral, outer triceps grip in, lock the navel to the back of the spine, fix your eyes and hold. You can always modify with the knees down. Lengthen your tailbone, Amanda. Yep, you got it. One hand at a time, plank position, pause and plank. Yep, bring the left hand out a smidgen, roll to the outer blade, Vashi sauce on the left side. Stagger the feet, drop the bottom knee, anything goes. Top arm can wrap up and forward only if you have that range of motion. If not, just have the arms like a big cross. Lift a little higher. Plank position, slow. Add in a push-up of choice. Up dog or cobra. Nice work, hips up and back, down dog. Stay with me, step your right foot forward, low lunge and pause. 
Good opportunity to use a block here, guys. Right foot forward, block out in front of you. Left hand to hip. You're going to pop up into a half moon. You kind of have to play with the distribution of where the block needs to be so you can find your balance. That's the goal. And then stack it open. So just so you know, Chrissy, all these poses, I fist my hand into the block and I find it takes me out of my neck. Looking down, looking sideways may be more comfortable. So just play with it a little. Yeah. Lift from your inner thigh, spread the collarbone and the chest, and then add in what you like here. If you like the bind, go for the bind. If you're happy in its basic form, take it on. Turn your bottom ribs, soften your right knee a little. Stay in the pose. Regular half moon if you added anything fun. Okay, challenging our kind of guidance of our body. Take a giant step back, warrior two. Yeah, big juicy step. Then look down and make sure your set stance is right. Your right foot is forward. Your left, leg's turn, left leg turn on an angle. Breathe your collarbone and your chest open. Everyone's facing different directions. So pick a tree, something to focus on, a dristy point. Wrap your inner right thigh open and then lengthen your tailbone like you're sitting in a big juicy squat pose. Breathe yourself apart. You gotta breathe yourself apart so we can put ourselves back together. Yeah. Sit down deeper, wrap your inner thigh open. Send the breath where you need it. Quiet your mind in the moments where it gets a little bit more difficult to hold. Keep the shape of the legs. Flip the palm, reverse your warrior. That's why I'm here. I, I need visual, yeah. Come back through warrior two. Take, place your right hand on the instep of the foot. I personally use a block here. Place it to the instep. Another time I knuckle my hand, spread the left collarbone open and you're in a B variation of extended side angle. If having your hand to the instep the step of the foot doesn't work out today, know that you can rest your right arm on the top of your right thigh. B variation, I remember this, is B for bind. You can wrap your left arm behind your back only if that does good things for you. If not, just stay. Yeah. Grip the right hip underneath, turn the bottom ribs and look up. I wanna hold a drop longer. You guys are really doing great. Lean back towards me, Amanda. You're gonna get a little bit more openness of the chest. Unravel the left arm. Warrior two, pull it up. This always gets you good. Gets you good. Take it to the floor, vinyasa, or skip and go to a down dog. Up dog is smooth. Hips up and back, down dog. The left foot steps forward, low lunge, pause. The importance here is that your left hip has to grip in and your foot stays forward. Definitely use a block. Place it out in front of you, right? Right hand to hip and slowly bring yourself up into half moon. Lift from your inner top thigh. Yeah, nice work. Spark up those toes. Add in what you need. If you need the half fine, you add the half fine. If not, just stay. Turn the bottom ribs and breathe. Nice, Rima. Regular half moon. Sometimes your body tells you it's time to get out and you just go, right? Giant step back, warrior two. Warrior two. Take a big, juicy step. So I got this fancy mat because it's got a line across the center. 
but you could just use any point on your mat. You could line your feet up. You wanna be front heel to back arch. Spread the collarbone. Roll your inner left thigh open. If you do nothing else but that, we'll be good. Lengthen and then breathe open here. Part, we're part of nature. What can I say? We're part of nature. You ever get like a bee in your car? Yes. And you're like driving and you're screaming, like no one could help you, like pull over. Settle in, stay with it, close your eyes. Give your back arm, Dara, two more inches towards the, the woods. Reach back two inches. Nice, Tracy. Sit a little deeper, you got this girls. Flip the palm reverse. You never thought I'd say it. Come through your warrior two and then find your way to your version of extended side angle B. So arm to top of thigh is a great option. I like a block. It can go any direction. I fist my hand actually into the block and then I spread my collarbone. It feels really much better for me, but you can also tense your fingertips. Yeah. Grip your left hip in super strong and then turn your ribs towards the ceiling sky. Right arm can wrap behind your back into a variation of a bind. That's it, and then lean back. Bless you. Crown of the head moves over your front foot. Stay with it. Top arm opens, warrior two, pull it up. Okay, so this time you're gonna straighten your front leg on track. Take your hands to your hips, everybody. Pivot the left toes in, uh-huh. So your legs are in a wide straddle, you're not staying here. Right hip, right toes are gonna turn towards the back skinny edge of your mat. Back toes are gonna turn in a little. I don't even want you to use your block here. Tighten up your stance if you know you need a smaller triangle, okay? Arms nice and open, same direction with your hips that you just had, uh, Lauren, turn your left toes in more and your right foot completely towards the woods. There you go. And then pivot your torso and find Trikonasana triangle. I want you to grab anywhere on the front of your shin. Now, if lower back is compromised, be okay with being up high, like I'm showing here. The back of my palm is pressing against the instep of my right quadricep. And this is a solid place to be because you're still working. I mean, it could even be like this, who cares? If not, you're pulling up anywhere in that front of the shin. It's almost like you're moving your yoga pant leggings up your leg, look sideways, look up. And then lean back a little bit, but be careful not to go into your low back. Use your core muscles to support the pose. Let your top arm pull you up. This time, keep your arms really wide open. Keep the energy running. Pivot the right toes in. And from your left hip, just turn your left toes out because most likely what works on your right side is going to work on your left as far as distance. Pivot and find Trikonasana. You're now facing the front skinny edge of your mat. Make adjustments if you need to. Yep, everyone behind me looks great. Hook the hips in and find your breath. Lean back a tiny bit, but as you do that, hook your hips underneath you and that's gonna protect that low spine. Nice, Dara. Lead with your top arm, let that pull you up. Bring your hands to your hips, pivot your toes in. And all I need you to do is just step to the top of the mat. Just come to the top of the mat. Just stand for a sec. Okay, so we're gonna add on. We're gonna separate our feet hips with distance. Right leg's gonna stay where it is. Left leg's gonna slide back. Mm -hmm. Hands to your hips. Left arm extends up. This is twisting triangle. I love this pose. Steer the hips back and come halfway down. You definitely need a block. Place it to the instep. Even if it's low, it's gonna give you a nice little. 
another one where I fist the ground and then I lengthen and peel open into your twist. You're gonna turn to the right, Andrea, your left hand down on the block and your right arm open to the sky, you got it. Or your hand to the flat part of your back. Feel like someone's got you by your hips. Laura, you're going the wrong way. Left hand, uh, other hand down. Bring your right hand down. Now you're back. That, there we go. We're, we're in business. Right hand down. Okay. Step to the top of the mat. Just spring hips with distance. Long spine on your inhale. Exhale, fold. Drag your hands to prayer. Drop your arms. Okay, let's do the other side. Hands to your hips. Feet hips with distance. Slide your right leg back. Mm -hmm. Left hand on hip, right arm extends up. So the extension comes from the back leg. Inhale, lengthen up, come halfway, steer your hips back and then slide your hand to that block. Left hand then can slide to the flat part of your back, look sideways, look up. Sarah, I would just do this like a parsvo, just like this and then just, just fold, that's it. I wouldn't even add the twist if it bothers you. Mm -hmm. You can just take it as a forward fold and you don't even have to go into the twist. Keep steering your hips back, guys, if you're in the twist. Two more. Hands to frame your front foot. Step to a plank. Move through a vinyasa. We're almost there. Up dog pulls you through. Hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward. Crescent lunge, guys. Stay with me. Just a little bit more movement. Crescent lunge. Rise. Hands to prayer at heart. You're high on the ball of your back foot. Lean out. Hook the elbow and twist. Another one where you can air twist if you need to. Or you can rest your elbow on the center of your thigh. You can stay upright. You can just open up your arms. This is a good modification. Any of these options are really good. Reg, walk your back left foot over to the right a little bit. Perfect. Yeah. Activate the muscles of the back quadricep, everybody, and lean back. Nice, Laura. Point your elbow towards the sky. You might get a little bit more opening of your chest. Two more. Good things are happening. At least I hope so. Right. Hands to frame your front foot. Step to a dog. Just step dog. Step your left foot forward, crescent lunge. Rise. Come on up. Drag your hands to prayer. You're high on the ball of your back foot. You want to lean out and then twist. And you can twist as much as your body's going to let you go. Remind yourself that the twist is happening in your ribs, not in your back. So if you feel like you're going into your back, don't take a deep twist. Activate the muscles around the back right quadricep. Look sideways, look up, get in there. Two more. Hands to frame your front foot, plank. Drop to your forearms. We did this before. Interlace the hands. Find a straight plane of energy right here. Rock your weight all the way forward onto your tippy toes. The crown of the head comes forward, way forward. And then rock your weight all the way back. Flex your feet towards the back skinny edge of the mat. Bring your weight all the way forward. Lock in your core. Bring your weight all the way back. One more, all the way forward. Good all the way back. Find neutral, five breaths, stay here, or walk it up to a dolphin, which is a down dog on your forearms. Either which way, hold. For some reason you can kick up and get up without taking yourself or anybody out, out, anyone around you out, then of course do it. If not, just stay, look forward with your eyes. Wrap your outer tri triceps in, breathe. 
Nice. Three more breaths. Make it count for you. Child's pose. Child's pose. Take your time if you're up. All right, guys, press up onto all fours, tabletop position. I taught this the other day, and I really like it to introduce back bends. Float the right leg up and back, three legged tabletop. Yeah. Extend your left arm forward. So it's opposite arm and opposite leg. Ideally, I would love everyone's right leg behind them. Curl the left toes under. It may be a little easier for you. Reach back with the left hand and bend your right knee. See if you can get hold of your ankle. Kick up and back and steer your chest forward. Plug the right hand down. Yes. Extend the arm and the leg in opposite directions. Keep the lift of the right leg, left hand down, hips up and back, three-legged down dog. So the right leg's lifted in space. Good. Look forward and sweep your right knee forward, half pigeon. Yep. Half pigeon on the right side if something happened and you got confused. Fold. Good. Plant the hands directly underneath the shoulders. Slide back to a tabletop. Just come tabletop position. Okay. Curl the right toes into the mat. It's a little easier. Extend the left leg up and back. Three-legged tabletop. Flex the foot. Reach the right arm forward. So the right arm and the left leg. I know it's harder than it looks. Left leg in space, right arm forward. Bend at your left knee crease. Reach back. See if you can get hold of your ankle. If you can, flex your foot or just create the shape. Steer the whole chest forward. Plug down. Release the arm and the leg in opposite directions. Keep the lift of the left leg, right hand down. Lift your hips, three-legged down dog. The left leg's in space. Come forward, hug the left knee in, and then slide it forward, half pigeon on the left side. Oh my God, is that Gabby's dog? So cute. Some of you I need to leave here. Yes, you need to stay in this posture till tomorrow. Let yourself just melt. Two more breaths. Good, come up nice and slow. Lean on the left side, swing the right leg forward. I think you all have a block, which is great. So I'll just face towards this direction, but stay as you are. You're gonna take Baddha Konasana, and, but you're gonna use the block. So you're gonna place the block, the highest, the middle direction is gonna be more intense. This is kind of uncomfortable. I'm gonna go low and I'm gonna place my feet in Baddha Konasana, which is essentially like a, a, a kind of a mild hip opener. Find what works as far as distance. Now, if lower back sensitive, it may feel better to have the legs a little further or a little closer, okay? I like to hook my hands under and then kind of wrap and then inhale the breath, lift my heart, my chest, and then exhale, start to fold. Now, we've done all this work to create an open chest. You don't want to just drop into it, right? I'd rather you stay more upright. Encourage the base of your feet to press together on this block. This kind of just elevates things a little. And then fold and breathe. If you feel nothing good for you, 
Yeah. Let me know your secret after class, um, how you feel nothing. Right. But everyone's different, which makes us unique. Okay, pull yourself up, take the block with you, lay on your back. So we're gonna do two back bends. A lot of us just prefer take a block, place it underneath, work on restorative, work on legs up. Some of us are young, some of us are young. I'm talking to like one person here, right. Um, and they can go up easily, right, easily into a full wheel. And if you can do that, go for it. If that's not for you and we need support, Right, we're gonna take the support. Let me tell you a little trick. Lay down first, then put the block underneath. Any direction that works. I mean, to me, this is just heaven. Lift the legs up and just stay here for a bunch of breaths. Yeah, full wheel. Oh, the youth is wearing off on all of us. Yeah, this is fabulous. It wears off. Yeah. Full wheelers. Yes. Wrap your inner thighs down and under. The lift comes from the tailbone to the backs of the knees. Breathe yourself open wherever you are. There's never peer pressure in yoga. So you just stay where you are. Laura, wrap the hands around the block. That's going to give you a, a back bend. So clasp your hands around the block like this. Yep. Even if they don't make it, and that's going to give you the back bend. If you went into full wheel, come down, take a breath in. If your legs are just up, you can keep them up. Five more breaths. Our full wheelers are going to take one more. Here we go. Giant breath in. Full breath out. Amanda, just for shits and giggles, take my block and try it because it's a little happier. Someone shoot it. Try it because it's firmer. There you go. Get it completely flat. This way, towards the front edge of your mat. Uh-huh. Okay. Nice work, everybody. Start to lower down. Once you hit the floor, if there's a block underneath, just remove it out. Yeah, you can throw. I'm a good catcher. Thanks. Remove the block. And then slowly lower the tailbone down. Hug your knees in towards your chest, guys. And let's take happy baby. Pull the knees down around the rib cage. Grab the base of your feet. If you can't get your feet this morning, grab the back of your thighs. Lengthen your tailbone. If you want to take a wide straddle in this, you can hook the big toes and stretch the legs open. Yes, feel the lower back melt. Feel the upper shoulder blades press into the mat. And then hug your knees in towards your chest. And before we wrap it up, just drop the knees together over to the right and upper body to the left. If you like to kind of wind up your leg like a little eagle leg, you're welcome to do that. If you prefer doing this an independent leg, that's fine. But just some version of a supine twist. Come back through center, drop, you kind of have to shimmy your hips over and then drop your knees the other direction. Yeah, there's objects in your way. Just kind of move them. Good, roll up to center. And the hardest, most difficult pose that I know of is Shavasana. So the next minute to 90 seconds, maybe two minutes if you're on good behavior, I'll leave you here. Yeah, so some of you as I know, crawl in your skin. Relax. Just close your eyes. Relax. Oh, 
Take a big breath in through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Start to wiggle your fingers, your toes. Stretch your arms up over the top of the head. You can ignore me and just stay down. Hug your knees to your chest. And rock up and sit in a comfortable seat or just stay down in Shavasana and keep your body in a nice quiet place. Sit up nice and tall. Good, feel the effects of the practice. Mostly really absorb the calmness that your body and your mind create. It's a pretty unusual feeling, so. Hands to prayer, bow your head for a sec. Thank yourselves for showing up. Always have gratitude. Lift the head, open the eyes. Namaste. I'm grateful the Wi-Fi didn't kick on us. Humble Warrior was a little rough, but we got through it. They had an extra long humble hold.